Hello everyone, welcome back to the Wisconsin Greg Show. Um, heading up to Jefferson, Wisconsin today. Uh, there's a plein air painting competition, I guess you'd call it, going on. Uh, it's going on right this week. I don't remember exactly what days. It's four or five days, something like that, roughly. Um, just thought I'd go up there and do a little vlog, and if I run into some painters, that's great. Um, I'm not really counting on it, because um, uh, they spread the, the area out this year, and uh, so I'm not sure if I'll run into any or not. It's a pretty big area they got to paint in, so chances of hitting one is kind of slim. But anyways, I'm going up there just to do a walk around. I haven't been up there for a while, and uh, see uh, see how nice it is up there. Um, they got some rain up there last night, um, maybe the day before too, I can't remember, I think they got some hail even, um, but uh, we didn't get no rain down here, maybe just a couple drops, not even enough to measure in the rain gauge, uh, so that's kind of bad for me, but anyways, uh, supposedly they got quite a bit up there, so anyways, we'll go take a look up there and see what's going on, and uh, just do a little walk around the town. Uh, beautiful day it's about 88 degrees Fahrenheit um, it's a little cooler than the last two days the last two days we've been over 90 I think one day was 93 and the other day was like 97 uh, a lot of the state got hit by some very very bad storms uh, last night um, even a couple tornadoes I heard in some parts of the state um, we just got some wind down by my house and just a few drops of rain and that's it i uh, seen lightning around me and like to the north of me and stuff, but we didn't get nothing, so uh, it's pretty dry by my house. Uh, I was watering my garden for the last two nights. I was going to quit last night when a couple drops came, but I just decided, oh, I'm going to water it anyways because I can't count on it. And uh, I'm glad I did because it didn't melt nothing. So anyways, uh, we'll, we'll see you when I get to Jefferson. That's pretty scary stuff right there, let me tell you. Wouldn't want to fall into that. I'm going to walk down to the lower level here and show you closer up. I got the microphone facing me. Uh, you know, hopefully you can hear it, but it's uh, really loud. We'll take a look around the area here. Very, very pretty in this area. If you can see the arched bridges over there and stuff, really, really cool. I've seen other years people paint them before um, during the art competition. But I've never fished here before. It looks like I might have to give it a try sometime. I talked to a fisherman down the road here. He said before the rain came, they were catching all kinds, lots of. Uh, I think he said bluegills. He just pulled in a, a sheep's head when I was there. He released it. Said there's lots of catfish in here. Pretty cool. Nice accessible place to go fishing. All mowed right up to the shore, so no weeds and stuff. Very nice. But look at this water. Woo! Hate to go over that with a boat or a canoe or something. Oh my goodness. There's uh, two fishermen here and another one just showed up. The last two days have been over 90. Today's only like 88, something like that. So it's a little bit cooler. There's a breeze. So that's one good thing. You can see Old Glory over there blowing in the wind. It's pretty breezy. 
I'm going to walk on the other side and see what we can find. Just go for a little walk and uh, come on along with me. I think I can walk right over those bridges over there. I'm gonna see if I can do that. I was hoping we'd get a little bit of the rain at my house, but we got a few drops, but not even enough to settle the dust. Not even measurable, not even a trace. started sprinkling last night. I had my uh, sprinklers going in my uh, garden and I was going to turn them off and figured we were going to get some rain, but I'm glad I didn't. I see so many people growing these, uh, I think it's called uh, milkweed. It's whatever the weeds are that the monarch butterflies like, I think that's what they're called. And uh, years ago, there used to be weeds, everybody wanted to get rid of them. Now people are planting them in their flower beds. It's weird how things change. And here's the bridge. Cool. Walk over, all wooden, curved. Look at that wood. Metal bracing at the intersections where the wood connects. Very cool. way over here where the road comes over. There's the dam down there that we were just at. A train track right here, it goes where the train comes through, it looks like. That looks like an old uh, train station, actually. Looks like it's kind of a bar restaurant. Not sure, but that's what it appears to look like from the backside. Super windy. Hope I'm not getting too much wind noise comes a pontoon boat through. Hopefully they don't go too close to the... Well, it looks like they're going to park over here. It's close enough. I wouldn't want to get no closer to that dam. <laughs> Check this thing out in the park. This is pretty cool. This piece of art right here. I wonder... 
I was wondering if they lock it, but it doesn't look like in heavy winds. Doesn't look like there's no way to secure it. I bet that thing really gets a whooping in the heavy winds. Woo. How's it going? <laughs> What's that? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I still can't hear you. Oh no, I don't speak. Okay. No, I don't speak that. <laughs> I couldn't understand them. I don't speak whatever language that was. Gave them a thumbs up anyway. They're friendly. That's the way people should be on the camera. Boy, so many people are so nervous of cameras nowadays. I can't believe it. I walk around with my camera and I got people looking at me like I'm carrying a a firearm or something. Just a camera, man. People gotta mellow out a little bit. Don't let the news scare you. I know things are bad in certain spots, and, uh, but the news really uh, multiplies it, makes it much, much worse. It scares people, that's what they wanna do. Don't let them scare you. There we are, back at the dam again. I'm here if you want to come along with me I'm gonna walk up to the town part a little bit I don't know if there'll be anything going on up there but I'm out for a vlog I might as well keep on going maybe we'll run into some artists but I'm not counting on it I got a feeling they came out early and got their stuff done and they're probably relaxing right now in the air conditioning somewhere Pretty cool statue in the park down here. I'm a goat. <laughs> Those goats sometimes, they're up to no good sometimes. I don't know if you've seen that video on going around uh, Facebook with a goat on top of the neighbor's roof. <laughs> that guy is so mad. Lots of swearing in that video, but it's still funny. It says, this goat's always up to no good. Very nice. Got a big, huge chair here. You can uh, have somebody take your picture of sitting in there. Got another sign here. Awesome.
Looks like some type of a maybe possible art studio. I don't know. Oh, tattoos. That's an art. Oh, art and tattoos, it says. But, uh, some construction going on right downtown here right now. Not sure what they're doing. Probably why there's nobody painting down here. They're where the construction isn't. Well, I don't think I'm gonna even be able to walk that way. Doesn't look too promising. Well, let's go back the other way. That's the Jefferson County City Hall, it says. Building that looked like the train station that I thought was a bar or restaurant called the Rock Bottom Express. Lots of noise here, sorry about that. I'm just going to stay down here, I guess. Stay out of the city where they're doing all the construction. It's too noisy up there. Love the old buildings around here. So anyways, we'll catch you on the next Wisconsin Craig Show. Just want to do a little walk around Jefferson today and enjoy the beautiful weather. See you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye now.